Today we're talking about how to lead with love and care even in difficult situations. Imagine for a minute the most difficult leadership situation that you've ever faced. Was it big or was it little? I can ask you this, how would you react if your team cost you $165,000? Would that be little? Would that be big to you? Because my team made a $165,000 mistake just this last weekend in my business. It's very important in a moment like that how you respond as a leader. Would you agree? Well, today I'm going to give you a four-step process so that when your team is facing a difficult situation, you can lead in such a way that your team not only recovers from the mistake, but actually has the potential to turn it into an advantage. Let me tell you what happened and how it cost me $165,000 and what I did about it. But first, my name is John Boggs. I am the co-founder of the Brave Thinking Institute, where I serve as CEO, and I'm also the founder of our business and leadership division. And today we're talking about transformational leadership, how to transform the results that you'd love to see as a leader. So here's what happened in my company and why I think it matters to you in your own leadership. We were holding an event. This was an event with thousands of people from all over the world in attendance. It was a virtual event, so it was happening on Zoom, as you can imagine. We had people from 113 countries, 49 of the 50 United States in attendance. And as we were serving these people, we were at a moment where we were offering them an opportunity to do more work with the Brave Thinking Institute when there was an inadvertent message that one of my team members sent out that completely erased the opportunity for people to act on what they would love. And at the end of the event, when end of the evening, that first night, it was a four night event, at the end of the first night when we made that opportunity available, we could empirically measure that that mistake cost us at least $165,000. Someone made a mistake. It cost me, my company, $165,000. How do you react? How do you respond in a moment like that? You see, I believe the way you respond in a situation like that as a leader is absolutely what makes the difference between a great team, between a world-class team and an average team. So I'm gonna share with you the four keys to great response in that moment. They start with a mindset or an attitude, and in this case, this comes from Napoleon Hill. Napoleon Hill studied 500 of the most successful people and how they handled adversity, challenges, difficult times, mistakes. He found every single one of them handled those situations exactly the same way. How do you think they handled them? He said, every adversity, every failure, every heartache carries with it the seed of an equal or greater benefit. What does that mean? That means no matter what you face, no matter what you think it costs us, there is some way for you to find an equal or greater benefit if you go to look for it. But like any seed of good, it has to be discovered, planted, nurtured, cultivated, and harvested. And no matter what occurs in your business that looks difficult, there is a way for you to turn that challenge, that heartache, that potential problem into a blessing if you use the right leadership. The four steps on top of this mindset are the key, I believe, for you to be able to turn anything that you're facing that might look like a difficult situation into a potential blessing. So here are the four steps, and they're frankly very easy to remember. The first one is don't catastrophize and don't minimize. As leaders, we have a tendency to make something really big and, and dramatic or really small and insignificant. And the truth is we want to just look at the facts. And so we don't want to catastrophize something. We don't want to charge it with energy. And equally, we don't want to minimize when we make a mistake or we have a challenge or a problem. Something there has occurred. So we want to Take a good, hard look at exactly what's occurred without minimizing or catastrophizing. That's step one. Step two is to acknowledge the challenge. Acknowledge the challenge. We're not going to catastrophize or minimize step one. Step two is 
there has been a challenge. We're willing to acknowledge that. And the way that we do that really matters. It's more about the way you acknowledge the challenge. We want to empathize with, in this case, the group or the person that has created the difficult situation. I can understand that what you were facing was challenging. Help them feel seen and heard. Set the pace that you are shoulder to shoulder, that we're in this together. That it's not me as the leader and you're here and I'm talking down to you. But this is something we're going to face together. Obviously, the person faced a challenge. They wouldn't have made a mistake. No one's doing this on purpose. Very important that we acknowledge the challenge, that this was a challenging moment, that we can understand that this is what's, what has occurred. And that leads us to the third step. Step three is to shift the focus. Once we have the facts, we haven't catastrophized and we haven't minimized. Once we've empathized, we've acknowledged the challenge with the group. We can understand this obviously was a challenging moment and now here, here we are, let's shift the focus. You wanna make very clear that what you're focused on is the solution, on what we do now. We wanna shift our energy off of blame Trying to figure out who's to blame doesn't solve anything. We want to move energetically to solving what it is. So a great question that you can ask yourself is, what can I do where I am with what I have to move in the direction of my vision? What is the vision for the result you have? We had a goal as an example for the event that we were holding. Okay, day one, we're down 165 grand. We still have the vision for the entire event in mind. Now we, we're claiming that we can learn something from this night one situation that helps us not only move in the direction of greater results overall moving forward, something here to learn, but just maybe, just maybe there's a way that we could still create that $165,000 additional result with what we learned from tonight. What if this challenge or problem is actually an advantage? And that leads us straight into step four, claim the good. Remember, every challenge, every adversity, every heartache, every problem comes with it the seed of an equal or greater opportunity. How can we turn this challenge into an opportunity? How could we turn this challenge into an opportunity? This was the question I was asking my team. And here's what's beautiful. Yes, we lost the tagging on all of those people. But as they were able to go back and say, you know what, we do have that list in this other way, they were able to reach out to those people. They were able to express love and care and say, you know, we weren't able to help you the way we had originally envisioned. Here's what occurred and here's what we would love to do now. We were able to express extra love and care with that group. And did you know that, yes, we missed them night one, but the way that we responded actually left them feeling like, wow, this is the kind of an organization I'd love to do business with. And here's the interesting thing. We were able to measure by the end of the event that that $165,000 mistake, because of the way we handled it, turned into a half a million dollar additional blessing for us. So every time you're in that moment where you're facing your version of darn it, we made a mistake, darn it, we have a problem, you too can ask yourself, wow, how can this heartache, how can this adversity hold within it the seed of an equal or greater opportunity for us? What can we do in this moment? Yes, the four steps that I have shared, don't minimize, don't catastrophize, acknowledge the challenge, shift the focus off the problem back onto the vision and claim the good. Those four ideas are powerful, but those aren't the only ideas. I want to hear your ideas. How do you lead with love and care in a difficult situation in your organization? Let's fill this chat up. I challenge you to add an idea that matters to you. Serve this leadership community. Let me ask also, if you're new to the community, that you uh, share this video with someone that you care about. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe make a difference in the world in great ways with transformational leadership for yourself and for the community as a whole. I am glad that you're here. So again, now it's your turn. Go ahead and leave a comment below. And until we're together again, remember, think bravely and act boldly.